Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to take a look at Parallel Compression or New York Compression as it's known also as well. Or the New York Compression trick. Okay, so there are, there are lots of different ways to do this. Okay, I mean everyone has kind of their own little takes on it. But there are a couple of hard and fast rules you want to know. And this was developed in New York in the 70s, mainly for disco. And uh, disco drums. But you can use it on anything. You can use it on synth sequences, vocals anything you like but we'll stick with doing it for drums okay so the first rule is you have a drum track here now whether it be all separate rooted into one bus or whatever it doesn't matter the point is that you need two 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 versions of the track okay so you need either it all going into a mix bus and then use the mix bus for the compression or you need to create a duplicate of your your wave file your drum pattern here which i have now all you can hear is all you can hear is the first track I've got this turned down. Okay, let's just let's just do this. And I've got the volumes turned down as well so you can hear me. But we'll uh, <clears throat> don't worry, we'll turn them up again. So okay, so you need a, a, a duplicate. So you've got your track, you duplicate in Q basis, you just hit duplicate and you've got two tracks. <clears throat> okay, now Let's forget the first track, let's go to our mixer and let's turn that down and let's turn that up. It's exactly the same, in fact, it's just the same track. There's no adjustments at all. Now the first thing we need to do is with our second track here, is we're going to EQ this track. So we're gonna boost the top end. Now this is where it gets important. You boost at the top end quite a lot okay and you boost the bottom end as much as you can get away with okay now let's stop that then and then what we're going to do now I find with this particular effect that Cubasis's actual built-in compressor is, is perfect for this. <laughs> it's really, really cool for this. So here's the crack with the compressor. Fast release, uh, sorry, fast attack, fast release, okay. Your, your ratio is kind of probably okay where it is as long as it's not on 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 one one to one or or if it's you've got like one that will go to zero zero where you're not compressing nothing the one to one is not compressing it at all so fast attack fast attack, uh, uh, and you need to have your you want your threshold set fairly fairly high and i'll show you why so let's play what we've got now okay so that's it's massively squashed yes and the higher we go there, the more we're squashing it. And if we drag our attack up, the compressor will start to do less. So fast attack, fast release. And add your threshold, well, and we can, let's turn our ratio up quite high as well. Okay, so now you've got a ridiculously squashed squashed drum kit which you would never ever really want to use okay let's go back to our mixer now and you can turn that down and you can apply some limiting if you want to if it's starting to clip but it's not about limiting is it it's about compression so there's our stupidly squashed drum kit so we take that out and let's bring in our normal one so this is our unmessed with unplayed with track now what we want to do now is we want to slightly bring in underneath this our compressed track now if I'm going to shut up in a second turn out the microphone before I bring that up so you can hear the effect now this effect is really really great and this is this is basically the effect so this is New York the New York compression trick using parallel compression So 
that's without it. And you've given your your drums an extra sparkle and extra kick and extra punch and you've also brought them out in the mix a bit. And that's it. That's 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 basically it. There are other ways, of course, you can mess around with it. You can mess with, like if you have slower attack sort of thing and more release, you're gonna kind of add a something there, but not nothing quite as severe sort of thing. Of course, the cool way with parallel compression is you're con you're basically controlling your mix with your compressed channel. So you never want to like that's horrible. And that's miserable and flat. Put both together, and that sounds pretty good without a great deal of wear, you know. And that this is the cool thing: it works with with everything. It works with pretty much everything, and it gives an extra dynamic range to your drum track, your vocal track. Without, and um, it's not like you're thinking. Oh yeah, that sounds heavily compressed. Whereas the compressed track is ridiculously compressed. But as soon as you just start to gently push that in under the mix, then yeah, then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel, it. especially when you've got other stuff playing in the mix as well. It, it will bring the drums out. I mean, try it if you've got a track going and you've just got some drums. And you go, oh, the drums could do with coming up a bit instead of fanning around with the fader. Set up a parallel channel. Now the EQ, now the the most important thing is. Boost the top ends, boost the bass end. You can even pull down on the mids, okay? And then compress with, a, try start with a fast, fast attack, fast release. Quite a high threshold, so it's starting to, almost starting to distort. Mess around with the ratio. Anything start, starts to, but you know, the higher ratios kind of sound nicer to me. I don't know, you might, you'll get engineers saying, oh no, no, I, I prefer lower ratios, hardly any ratio at all, sort of thing, and then it just needs, it's it's a matter of taste. At that point, it begin, it becomes subjective to the engineer and how, how they like to work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, give the video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron, and I will see you guys later.